Welcome to OK Managers. It's a new year. Maybe you're looking at getting into miniature painting. If so, this video is for you. This is the bare minimum material supplies that you need to get started. Some of these things aren't actually like required, so it's not truly the bare minimum, but anyway. So I'm just going to kind of run through the stuff that I have here, not in a super particular order. Um, I have parchment paper that I use for my wet palette. Wet palette is a sponge. It keeps your paints wet longer. Um, it keeps them from drying them out over time. So you can basically use the paints over a few days or a week or so. Much more than that and they do start to get dried out a little bit. But it basically allows you to keep coming back and paint your miniature over time. Connected to that, I would also say you should get a little paint palette. Uh, this is nice for the paints that you don't need to water down. Um, but it's not really necessary. You could still use a wet palette for paints like metallics, um, primer, and washes. Just this kind of handy to have. For applying paint, I would recommend you have three brushes, a larger, not very um, fine pointed, if that's a word. Um, just good for dry brushing, good for slapping paint on things. Not very precise. Then I would say get one medium-ish brush. This one is Army Painter's base coating brush. I use it for almost everything. And then finally, got a little fine brush. This one is, I have no idea. Anyway, it's tiny, it's good for details. I don't use it very much, but it is very good for details. For getting these parts, mini, mini parts off of sprues, these guys are really handy. They are sprue cutters, I think is what they're called, but basically they're um, they got one side where it's flat, so you can get a flush cut. It's really handy. They can cut through quite a lot of stuff. Once you've cut the bits off the sprues, it's handy to have an X-Acto knife or similar. This one's Excel. Anyway, nice little knife that you can scrape off mold lines with and cut off little bits of sprue that are still left on the model. When you're gluing these little parts together, you don't always need tweezers, but once in a while it can be handy to have them. These are also kind of handy for basing, where you can put little graph tuff, grass tufts in the correct spot. <laughs> I don't have super glue because I'm not sure where I put mine, but it's very good for assembling miniature pieces. It might be worth getting some plastic cement as well. Um, similar use to super glue, but works a little bit differently and might work better for different models worth considering. also recommend Milliput, which you can use to fill in the gaps between different bits. For paint, I have a 10-piece variety of colors. Uh, I got a flesh tone, a couple browns, which are really nice to have, um, black, white, blue, red, yellow, green, just a variety. I, I do see the limitations of having just 10 colors, but it is a very good start, a good place to start. I also have two metallics, uh, gold and a silver color, which are nice to have. There are more metallics, but these two are very good for starting. And then I have uh, one wash. This is a strong tone wash. I used it a lot to begin with, but I used it too much, so I just like douse things in it and I don't think I quite used it right, so I haven't used it as much, but I do think it's important to have, and I will be getting back into using it. For basing, little bits of cork, graph tuff, grass tufts. Um, you can also get different other things, like little static grass sort of things. I don't personally use these, so, but graph grass tufts are very useful. 
So our cork and just sand, baking soda, different things that can give different textures and simulate dirt and whatnot. You can buy these from actual miniature painting companies or you can just find them outside or buy them elsewhere. Also have varnish. I personally haven't used this paint on varnish, but I have used a matte spray paint, spray paint, spray varnish, which has worked pretty well. I don't use my miniatures yet for playing games. I am looking to get into that, so I will be working my way towards varnishing a lot of my model models. There you have it. Also would recommend getting a cup with water, but I think that's fairly self-explanatory for rinsing out your brushes. So I hope this video is helpful, and if you're looking to get into miniature painting, um, if you have other, if you're not new to miniature painting, and you have other tools that you would recommend somebody get, let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. With that, I'll see you in the future.